don't know if it's going to work. I genuinely don't know if it works. On paper, the way Gur plays should count as but obviously, you know, that's just one thing. I wonder how it's going to work in actual gameplay. Here we go. And sadly, before the combo was dropped, that was before Gur built up the hourglasses. So that would have been one of your best times to let it go. Sadly, a combo, Ooh, com Ooh, combo drops, drops. drops, in fact. Yes, both sides. However, I would certainly say that this circumstance favours Gur at the moment. Too far away to punish the overhead. You boring doesn't commit to a button would know that would have been a death sentence. You need trip guarded all day, every day. All right, overhead again. There now it is. Now the hourglasses are back. So if Darius hits you here, it ain't gonna mean nothing. I mean, he still needs the meter to do it, so you know he has to build that bar first. Which is where we get the chance with punish clean. Out oh, really care enough. too much about the side switch. Nice little bit of damage to finish the combo off. By the time you might get hit, that meter right. could be built. Unless you Euphoring hits a raw command grab here, because the meter got spent on the EX throwing stars. Full launch here. Side Ooh, switch. Clean. Cheeky. The mark. And let's not forget, those hourglasses are still stuck. We can stun if we want. In this case, we just end it. Command grab. Oh, ho! a risky wake up. One that pays off here for you for it. Overhead again. So many. Those overheads become so much less risky when you have the combo break. Because there it is. Oh, oh hang on a minute. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if you're close enough, you do get stunned by it. It's only in those instances that you're point blank, though. Like, there's a reason we don't see that all the game has been played so far, though. Get Gur up one. You for it. More time to see if the Serene is going to do the job, but really was considering it against too easy. All right, and there we go. Confirm now into the double knives assist, and we're going to get fantastic damage. Not too shabby, and that's going to be free invisibility. Low poke, looks Ooh, for a whip punish, tries to get it. Even invisible Gerd knew that that back two was our brain. Weird. Very strange neutral being played, and that's clearly going to be part of Euphorian's plan is to just disrupt how comfortable Gur is in this situation. Anti air. I feel that Euphorian is playing very slippery right now. Kind of hard for Gur to get a, a real substantial hit. But still, relatively even. And there's the clock. If I get punished, I can just rewind if that's what Gur wants to do. There it is, yeah. And look at how much health he regenerated. Best case scenario. Ooh, hello. Hello. That too. Meekler's pickup. One and he was invisible glass. when he got hit too. That was definitely a quick pickup for Gur. Oh, back two's going to blow that up though. That looked a little bit like knowledge to me. Euphoring takes that first round. I think so. Round two, fight. Down one, the eternal turn stealer. All right, hourglass is built up. We have got a bar too. Looking to interrupt. Caught by the low. Are we going to rewind? We're going to wait for Serena to get spent maybe? Yeah, let the cameo go down first. Smart stuff. However, not too long until Serena is indeed back. Plus frames, the dash in maybe in case you try to go for another back two in that situation. Hourglass to build the teleport. Oh, that, that was looked, weird. That looked like a really weird angle to pick that up. Well, he's not going to be able to combo break because he only has one of the hourglasses built up. At this point, though, a lot of damage coming Look. through. Drops it. No. I mean, 400 is nice, but it's not the higher end that you want if you spend all those cameo bars. Yeah, if you're spending the whole cameo, you want max. You want to cash out as much as you can. You for it. The smoke has been a lot better. Wait, the patience and the punishment there from Gur. Three bars of meter, by the way. Oh, we have to break. That's got to feel bad as a Gearus player when you have to spend three bars on a breaker. However, this should be a meterless finish. Nothing else would have been reliable, Ender, but that one will be, and it's going to give Gur the opportunity to win this round, keep the fatal blow if we need it. As we now go into final round of this second game. Overhead, that just clipped on its own. Now, damage or the setup, what are we doing? 
All right, the X invisibility, the wake up there from Gurr that just wants to shut it down immediately. The plus frames, respected, messes it up. Gurr messes up the punish. That would have been even just a one, two grab or whatever the input was. Would have been better than nothing here. As now Q boring, opens it up, spends a second Serena. If Gurr has no ability to break this, we just have to get as much as we can. Now what do you do against the invisibility? There's the punish. Go got the standing one, but nothing committed. Turns into the low instead. I, I want to say this is winnable for Go, honestly. Oh, no, the drop. That turns the chances down, though. I mean, with Fatal Blow, maybe. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No way. Goes the sap instead. Good block on the low overhead. Oh, the catch. There's no way. Go on. on. That was back to back swing in the mid and confirmed both times. I like how Gurr opted to like not go for the fatal blow on the first hit. So if it, if Gurr didn't go for it, it probably wouldn't advantage you for it. There would have been something Rico. extra you could do. Back to Reiko. Who do we pair it with? Darius. All right, we're going in still with that Darius, and we're betting it all on this classic Reiko pairing. You boring. Losing this match, you're out. Speak for them, and Gurr will advance. But Gurr is a very motivated man at the moment, especially off the momentum built from the reverse sweep versus Team World in that 5v5 yesterday night. Taking full advantage of this lower bracket situation, the reverse sweep against H-Dope, which was way too close to call. I mean, this guy's on a rampage right now. I mean, it was probably the, the greatest comeback we've seen, second only maybe to the Boki comeback, honestly. They but were Gurr, both fantastic, weren't they? I mean, Gurr's just, he's got it in him. And now he's on the 2-0 the, the, the up. Ooh. Letting it rock on a slide here. Oh, okay. We swinging out uppercuts here. Whoa. Oh. Damn. Wait, is that enough? Wait, does that get him out? Oh, oh come here. Grabbed out of it. Where are you going? Where are you going, sir? I would like to talk with you. And my friend Darius will be part of that conversation. So not only is that going to be enough to win the round, of course, that is going to undo that break that Gurr just went for. So he's going to have to stock that up again. But a good round for you, Foring. He's going to have to build up himself more of those hourglasses. A bit tricky, maybe, with these stars being constantly thrown. But again, keeps it safe. Knows the low hat's coming. Now is my time to let it rock. Okay, a high catch. That's a weird pickup. Gurr had to kind of adapt on the fly there. That definitely like, looked like a little bit of improv to me. Oh, imagine if that missed. That'd been great. That would have been so good for Gurr. Combo off the low hat. Hang on. Lots of damage. Spending the bar. Let's do it. What's his high 300? Ugh. Punish. Oh, huge. And that is going to be failing a drop combo. No, it's not going to be. Match point to Gurr now. This could be a 3-0. Oh, that jump. massive jump kick. That jump hurt so good. And now back up. Immediate. Immediate rewind. Knowing that that is not going to do Ooh, well damage well. immediately. We want to just save ourselves. Keep it low now. Like that. Expect a button maybe from you, Boring, who has to pull out something short of a miracle at this point because uh, so much momentum. This low hat as well. Doesn't have a breaker. Doesn't even have two bars at the moment. The down one. Overhead. Okay. The meaty mid. This is a fantastic start. This is a way to keep ourselves going. Knee slide. More pressure. What's it going to be? Another one. God, just expecting a grab. There hasn't been a grab almost ever. So eventually, surely it's going to come. But is it ever going to appear? It's almost like the threat of Darius has done more damage than Darius himself in this match. Yeah. Looks like it. A bit more meter. Skirt has to be extremely careful here. Another low hat. You fall out of lows. Not going to press block. a button. Not going to press a button there. Getting opened up by a mid is the number one way a fatal blow is going to kill. But maybe now you're falling. Oh, that up block is gone. No! no way! Oh, you fouring bet the farm on an EX slide that Gurr was more than ready for. And Gurr, once again.